Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math student here at Wise Ant, answering a question submitted by a student. This is a classic uh, question from calculus. So let's go ahead and take a look. So part A, this is this is the value of f f prime, right? This is f prime. F prime of x. That's the y value here is f prime. And we don't have the curve, we don't have the graph for f of x. This is f prime of x. Now, f of x, the original f of x, is increasing wherever the first derivative is positive. Because wherever the first derivative is positive, the function is increasing because the slope is positive. So the answer to part A is going to be between here and here because that's the only place where the slope is positive. If this is a negative slope. It might be increasing here, but it still has a negative value. And this has a negative slope here. So this has a nice positive slope. So this is going to be, if I'm counting right, this is 2. That's 4. So it's going to be from 2 to 4. Now, notice I'm excluding 2 and I'm excluding 4. Because when it's at 2 or 4, the first derivative is 0, which means that the curve is turning. So let's take a look at how the curve is turning at 2, and then we'll look at 4. I'm going to change colors now. Let's pretend that this green color is f of x. Now you can see the slope is positive on, at, from the left. I'm sorry, the slope is negative from the left. It's getting less negative. So the curve itself has to look something like this because you see the slope is extremely negative here and then getting less and less negative as we approach 2. And then you can see it's positive. And so it's still it's going to go up like that. So what we have here is a minimum. And I think if you think about this for a while, you'll see that it makes sense. Maybe in school you've learned about concave up and concave down. This is concave up because the slope is continuing, continuing to increase. The slope is increasing it's becoming less negative and then more positive and you can see here it's becoming less negative the negative value is decreasing getting smaller in size and then it's becoming positive so x equals 2 is a minimum all right now let's change colors again We'll do some blue. What's going on at 4? Well, we know the slope is positive, but it's getting less positive. So you can think of the curve kind of doing something like this. And at 4, the slope is 0. And then you see how the slope is getting more and more negative. So the curve is dropping down. So we call this concave downward because the slope is decreasing throughout this blue section. The slope might have been 10 here, and then 5, and then maybe 1, and then 0, and then more, more smaller, smaller, and smaller, and smaller. So at x equals 4, we have something that's concave up, and it's a maximum. 
Let me just put concave up here. And by that we mean that the slope is, uh, I'm sorry, that's concave down. The slope is decreasing throughout. And going back up here to the green, this is concave up. meaning that the slope is increasing. Here, the slope might have been negative 10, negative 5, negative 3, 0, then 3, then 5, then 10. You see the slope is increasing throughout. That's concave up, and that gives us a minimum. Okay, you're going to be studying this in more depth. Uh, you'll be going to, we'll, you'll be learning about the second derivative, which is where the concave up and concave down come in. And you'll be doing a bunch of other things. Um, and all of this is part of teaching you that um, the tools you get in calculus can actually help you with uh, sketching graphs of functions. Okay, so that's it for this one. I hope that was helpful. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.